now we will go to problem number 13 problem number 13 is like this 25 cos square theta plus 5 cos theta minus 12 is equal to 0 and alpha is a root of this equation and you are asked to find the value of sine 2 alpha now actually he considers this as a quadratic equation in cos theta and then cos theta will be you use the good old formula or factorization or whatever method you like minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a it will just go into minus 4 by 5 after all these dirty simplifications now look minus 4 by 5 we are interested alpha in this uh, root that is in the second quadrant so cos theta minus 4 by 5 sin theta in the second quadrant is positive and that will be equal to say 3 by 5 therefore you will be having if alpha is a root of this equation say sin 2 alpha will be equal to say 2 sin alpha into say cos alpha that is equal to 2 into sin alpha 3 by 5 cos alpha minus 4 by 5 that is equal to minus 24 by say 25 now why this problem is given it is simply a quadratic equation problem and uh, you get the value of cos theta because alpha is a root you may call it as cos alpha and the sin alpha because alpha lies in this second quadrant cos alpha should be negative sin alpha should be positive that you should bring in mind because cos alpha is negative you can't write sin alpha is also negative no because it is lies in the second quadrant this must be positive once this is done the problem is very simple the answer is minus 24 by 25 which corresponds to choice number 2